Hi friends, welcome to my channel. I'm Leslie and today we are going to do our cash stuffing but I also want to show you a couple of things that got cut out of the video last night. I don't know that it's really that big of a deal but I wanted to make sure you saw all the fun things that I bought. This is the 25 days of dog treats and I think you just, oh yeah, you pull the tabs here and here and then it opens and then you'll have 25 windows to punch open. So I got that for, for Dick. And I got these for $6.99. The advent calendar for the dog was $7.99. These were $6.99. The cheese calendar was $16.99. The wine advent calendar was $59.99. And I got a bag of my gummy bears because at the dollar store, they're $1.25. At Walmart, they're $1.24. But at Aldi, they're $1.19 for my gummy bears. So I got a bag of those. Anyway, so I picked up this six-pack. I had talked to you about the ones that were $0.99 cent at Big Lots. Either way, it comes out to about the same. Um, I did like the other ones because they had the black tops. I can always paint these black. I'm going to leave them the way they are for right now until I decide. But this is what I'm going to put my hot cocoa toppers in, my sprinkles and different things like that. So I might, you know, do these in reds and greens. I might paint them to look like peppermints so that I know these are for Christmas sprinkles. I can get the black ones for other... Okay, great. Great! <laughs> All right, so I got that. And then the tree skirt you saw, the bells you saw, the paper you saw, and the rugs you saw. All right. And the wine and cheese you saw. So that's all I got. I shouldn't say that's all I got because I spent 160 at Marshall's with that, with the rugs that I went nuts on and another 97 at Aldi. So, yeah. <sighs> Whatever. All my bills got paid, so it's fine. Let me get my change jar. I'm also thinking about taking that rug that I took up from my bar area and putting it under this chair. But I'm not going to do that right now because my throat hurts. My nose is a little stuffy. I don't know if I'm trying to get sick. Could be because I'm running myself absolutely ragged, nonstop, go, go, go. I want to rest the rest of this weekend. I want to lay on the couch. I can do some laundry. I'll clean, you know, one room, whatever. I don't know. We'll see. I also want to decorate one room, get one room cleaned and decorated. That would be my bar area. We don't know what this weekend's going to hold. <laughs> so, let's see what we have in here. Yeah, I didn't think I had much. I have one dollar left in there. And then I have change. So, my dollar. Let's see if we have an opening in the hundred envelope. I don't know if I've stuffed the one yet. Nope, I haven't. Okay. So we'll put this one dollar in the one dollar envelope. Not a star note. Oh my god, it's a star note. Okay, that will go into my star note. Okay. Great. Now we'll put the change. First, I need to put my star note away before I forget that it's a star note. So I have a... Um, envelope and envelope back here with all of my star notes. I have a 20, a 5, 
a five and a one. You know, I have another one and they just have a star behind them, behind the serial number. That means something was imperfect about it when it was printed. And you can look them up and see if they're worth anything more than what the face value is. If they aren't, eh, just go ahead and spend them. So I figured I'd hold on to them until Christmas time or whatnot. Check them out, and then I can go spend. <laughs> That's a shocker. All right, let's put the change in the change jar. Can everybody see? All right, I am going to take a dime. I'm going to take this top off and put a dime in there because I know I'm at least one nickel short. I'd rather be five over than five short. So we're just putting a dime, calling it even. And we'll see where we're starting out. $57.99. We have $58 now. We have $59 now. We have sixty dollars now. We have $62.18. Money, money, money. I love the sound of money. If you watch Charlie Brown growing up, you know what that's a reference to. All right. Never did I miss a Charlie Brown special. I would go home to watch It's the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown, even though I saw it every year, year before, year before, year before, year before. But I'm going to go home early on Halloween. Screw the candy. I got to see Charlie Brown, okay? I had a few problems, okay? All right. Um, so as we figured last night, we should have $235.00. So, let's see what we got. So, we have 51, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 5, 200, 5, 10, 15, 20, 220, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. Okay? 235 dollars. Got a lot of ones, got a lot of ones. That's all right. Oh, we don't have it far enough back. All right. Can everybody see the beautiful cash? 
All right, let's start off with my wallet. That's the easiest thing to do. Sorry for the lighting. I don't know what's going on. Gas gets 45, always. That's two 20s. No star notes. And a five. Groceries is getting a 50. No star note. Dining out is getting skipped. We must stop all of that nonsense. Shopping is getting 30 because tis the season for Leslie to find some cute piece of decor somewhere that she has to have. <laughs> and then my last one is my buffer, which I always put 10 in. And that's a 5 and 5 ones. So that's one ratty one, one ratty two, three, four, five. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, and five is ten. So my wallet is ready to go. Then we will do the cash stuffing for 26 weeks. I was going to do um, 17 and 18. So let's pull out 17 and 18. And we're going to do 10, 5, 6, 17. Hold that. that down in there. Find out where it goes in here. 14, 15, 16, 17. I think these are out of order, perhaps. 24, 25, no. All right, and then we'll do 18, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. And this money will likely be used to buy gifts, whatever I have remaining um, for buying gifts. I think I've just got the couple of kids left, so I probably won't spend all of this, so whatever is left. I will condense it into larger bills and put it in my hundred envelope. All right, so we have 18. Next week we are going to stuff 19 and 20. And then in December we'll do 21 and 23. And all of these will be stuffed. So that's kind of fun. I could finish it up. Mm, maybe next paycheck. We'll have to see what we can do. All right, then I need my... I need to stuff the weather from November 1st. First, we'll do the, eight, the date. It's here. Got paid on the 8th. 5, 6, 7, 8... So 8 is going into here. Okay, 10, 12, 10, 25, then we're 11, 8. Deposit of eight dollars. That takes us up to three hundred and thirty-eight dollars. So let's make sure that that is in fact what we have.
100, 50, 70, 90, 210, 230, 250, 60, 70, 80, 90, 300, 10, 20, 5, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 338. And save the date. And if you're just joining me for the first time, what I do is the date, like the 5th, the 9th, the 2nd, the 16th, whatever date I get paid, each paycheck, I save that amount. So 5 on the 5th, 19 on the 19th, 16 on the 16th, 10 on the 10th, okay? And it's just a great way within the year to save over $338 dollars. Because I've still got uh, one, two, three more paychecks to go. So, it's a really easy way to watch your money grow. My throat is really hurting, so I think I'm going to lay down for a little while and just relax. I took some ibuprofen and it's taken a little while for it to cook in. Hmm. All right, so the next thing I want to do is my weather. And the low for November 1st was 57. So we're going to put 11 1 deposit plus. 57, so we're going to say 55, 56, 57, this is another way to save money, I did the lows because I knew if I did the highs when we get up in the summertime and we got 110, I don't know that I'm going to have 110 stuff, <laughs> I might challenge myself next year and go for the high. I don't know. We'll see. 20s. Okay. Hana hana dollar bills. See how much we have now in weather. 100, 200, 300, 400, 50, 70, 90, 510, 530, 40, 50, 60, 70, 5, 80, 1, 2, 3, 4, 584. Let's make sure that's correct. Hold on. Can't show you all my special numbers now. Hold on. Got to find my calculator. All right. Plus 57 is 584. That's what I said? I guess so. So that's what it is. One, two, three, four. Yeah, 584. So yeah, the highest amount I did was... Um, Seventy five in August, it looks like, and that was the low. So, I mean, that works, right? I think I'll stick with the low. <laughs> I don't think I can do hundreds for three, four months in a row. That is not where that goes. So, also, if you're new with from if you're new to my channel, um this weather and save the date are what I'm going to at the end of the year I'm going to combine them together and divide them between my two largest yearly bills which is my car insurance and my car tax and I was going to put five dollars into basketball but I decided against it so 
that's it. We're done. All right, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Also, if you haven't, please hit subscribe. I love gaining new friends. And until the next one, I'll see you then. Bye.